Hey Pisces, it's Ia Patsy, and I'm here to do a reading for you, which is going to be timeless. And whenever you see this message, it's going to cover the 30 day period following that, whenever you view it, okay, give or take a few days. All right, so this is being um, recorded in um, on March 5th and on um, 2020 and it is now a Friday night okay so I'm trying to cut down on the time of the on the on length of the messages I know they get pretty long so I'm just gonna tell you in advance just get comfortable get your popcorn watch it when you you know can relax I think it's going to take a little while but let's see how it goes maybe not so what I did is I um, pre-shuffled and got some of the cards for you today. Spirit said for me to get your oracle cards first. And the card that I got for you was the Spiral Dance of the Goddess, number 29. So this is about love and growth. This is about movement. This is about going forward on your journey. All right, seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, being comfortable, being fruitful, being wise. And number 29, that adds up to 11. So this is something that you've manifested or this is a gift to you from the universe. The Spiral Dance of the Goddess. And the second card that you got from the Journey of Love Oracle by, um, oh my goodness, I just knew it. <sighs> Alana Fairchild Rasuli and Richard Cohen. And all the information about the cards I use will be in the description box of this video eventually. Number 23, Across the Seas. I notice both of these cards has, have a lot of green in it, right? So there's growth and there's love and there's comfort across the waters. So this is again about moving forward, maybe traveling, okay? Maybe having, going out dancing. Could be going on a cruise and enjoying, you know, entertainment and the nightlife on the cruise. For some of you, that may be the message, all right? I did get a channeled message before I started, so let me just share that with you. It says, oh, there was a song, I got a song. The song was, a vis um, I Had a Vision of Love by Mariah Carey, all right? And the line that they emphasized was, and it was all that it turned out to be. And it was all that it turned out to be. I had a vision of love and it was all that it turned out to be. They said celebrate, hold positive thoughts and positive visualizations. Enjoy this time. Allow yourself to fantasize and allow, allow your dreams to run wild, just for a little while, just a daydream. Dream of the, the stability, of the wealth, of the sustained good health, of laughter, of romance, of love, of children and grandchildren, a legacy, a community, happiness, stability, peace, and dance. And the time that I got that message that was finished at 1959. If that means something to you, 1959, 1959. And they said, be bold and brave. Be bold and brave, Pisces, is the message. Okay. Spiral dances the waters of the goddess across the waters. Sounds like a journey. Sounds like you are going to be moving forward in your career or in your um, love life, 
all right or whatever situation that you have been focused on you're going to go forward in whatever way that is for your best interest okay that's what I'm getting and they're telling me to tell you not to be afraid that you are protected and you are being guided your steps are being guided and that you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing at this time so I got three karma cards from the karma deck karma cards deck and that is by Monte Farber so the first card that we got which is the planet that's going to be ruling your situation or that you're going to be um, affected by is Mercury So this is something that's fast, okay? Something that is going to shake things up. We are in Mercury, Mercury retrograde, so this could be something going on right now for you. A change, some expansions that's happening fast, or changes to your world that are happening fast, or changes to your health, or your work situation, whatever it is, you're noticing changes uh, around you. Maybe some people are leaving. Maybe some people are coming. Uh, maybe you may be moving. Okay. Um, you may be having enhanced spiritual gifts also. Becoming more aware of things. And it's coming quicker. Okay. The second card that you got that represents the sign that will be most... Mm, whose whose energies you will most have to embody in order to deal with whatever situation you're going to be dealing with within the 30 time, 30 day time frame of this reading is Scorpio so Scorpio is a fellow water sign I did a reading for Scorpio yesterday so you might want to take a look at that it's also a timeless reading for Scorpio I did yours after theirs because they were begging for it okay so I thank you for your patience Pisces and happy birthday to you all anyway um, so you had Scorpio <coughs> so Scorpio is emotional but guarded emotion emotionally guarded emotionally guarded mm-hmm mm. you're guarding your emotions you're being vigilant, vigilant, vigilant of the things that are going on around you. Okay, you are in protective mode. Because things are going so fast. Lots of changes are happening. You might be being taken away from your comfort zone. And so you may be on alert. <laughs> okay, Pisces, and the house that's going to be most affected by these changes these activities is the 11th house this is about your friends okay what about your friends yes okay are they going to stick around yeah this is your circle of friends people that mean a lot to you people that you know don't normally have a um, romantic um, connection with but friends and extended family uh, you know people you grow up with people that you work around this is whatever's going on is going to be affecting your associations with them so the way these cards work is you read across the writing and it has a message for you so your karma card for the 30-day period is saying that the awareness of purification to resurrect freedom And that sentence to me, my intuition is saying that this is about mm, putting down bad habits, addictions, okay, to become aware of the need for a closer walk with the Creator, to have a deeper understanding of yourself in order to achieve this freedom, to resurrect yourself from like the phoenix phoenix out of the ashes many thoughts about or from 
the secrets of association. So you're thinking about your friendships. You're thinking about the things that you have shared with your friends. All right. You're wondering if they're going to be using things against you. Okay. Or if they know things or they're saying things. You've been, you know, you're on high alert. Okay. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> you're on high alert. And you are having thoughts about people that you associate with. Okay. And what it is that they would talk about about you that they that could be true or may not be true. And the next line is many words resulting from the power of your circle of friends. So these are influential people who are doing a lot of talking, a lot of gossiping, and you are aware of it. You're aware of this. You're aware of what the knowledge that they hold or you're aware of the knowledge that they think they hold or the power that they think that their words are going to play in your life. Oh, okay. So these are people or situations that you may find controlling or draining. Okay, so you may be needing to get away from them in order to get some freedom. Going back to the first message. This Next message we, has is, we have is communicate the extraordinary power of prayer for humanity's sake. Okay, listen. This is talking about staying in your spirituality regardless of whatever is going on with the community around you, your friends, your uh, associates, siblings, whoever. All right? Communicate. Be who you are. Stand up in who you are, okay? Don't allow other people to um, belittle your belief system, if that is part of what's going on. Don't let them belittle the work that you do, okay? They don't know what you do behind the scenes. They only know what they see, okay? And whatever it is that you're doing, you know how much time and effort you put into it. And it's not for anybody to judge. And it isn't for you to even care what they think. So just ignore that, all right? So communicate and talk about the goodness of this journey, of your journey, the blessings of God, the blessings of Jesus, the blessings of the universe, the creator, whoever it is that you entrust your immortal soul to, be grateful and thank your ancestors for protecting you and guiding you thus far on this journey, okay? Analyze the highest and lowest aspects of your hopes and wishes. So, what's the worst that could happen? And what's the best that could happen? Prepare for the worst and be open to receive the best. Prepare for the best. Prepare for the best. Prepare for the worst. Prepare for the best equally. Free your mind, and the rest will follow. Hmm? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> the next line says, let your mind tell you how to control the situation and do it for the future. So, follow your intuition. Your intuition, your logic, your higher self, your intelligence is going to tell you how you'll be able to get control in the situation, set things straight, and just be able to be true to yourself and not worry about what else is happening you are the goddess or god okay you are a journey you're on a mission okay things are changing for you fast and you see light at the end of the tunnel and you are ready to make that move so don't let worries about naysayers or gossipers or whatever cause you not to follow through with this change don't worry about what other people say follow your intuition don't do things to spite people either okay because then you'll get yourself in real trouble all right just disregard 
whoever they are and just go about trying to find your best self live your best life that's the best revenge actually right success is the best revenge for all the naysayers but don't take a chance with your health your destiny talk to your ancestors ask them for guidance but what this is saying is that you have what you you know what to do you have the tools that you need communicate all right stay in your try to stay in your higher self all right even when, when you might get tested okay and don't defend yourself okay your journey is your journey your life is your life we have judgment I'm going to move these cards because I was having a problem the other day. I don't know how this camera works yet. So, judgment. That came in the reverse. So, someone may be making a judgment call about the situation or you that is negative or someone is not willing to make a change that is called for and needed okay because this judgment would be rectifying a situation coming to an end of a situation resolution someone's not trying to resolve a situation they're unwilling to All right, so then we had Ace of Swords in the upright, the truth, clarity. Seven of Swords. Oh. Four of Swords. Okay. Four of Cups. All right, this looks to me like somebody's feeling guilty about something. Something that they stuck off and did. Something that they're kind of... They've been delaying whether or not they should... Be honest. Or should they just... Sneak away to get some relaxation. So someone feels that their judgment is off and they want some clarity. And they think that maybe if they get away, if they took... Okay, so this could be you, Pisces, feeling that you need to get away in order to clear your mind. <coughs> okay. Contemplate your options. Get some rest. So that you can get clarity. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Any other message? That's pretty basic. So some of you just going on a trip. Some of you just planning a vacation. To get away from family members and friends and people. Or the job. Maybe you got a bunch of gossipy people that work where you work. And you are can't wait to get a chance to get away from these folks. Some of you could be going to Mardi Gras. Okay. Okay. So you can be going on vacation. Ooh, the tower. Some big change. This could be Mardi Gras. Somebody throwing their bras out the window. <laughs> that just what came right there. I know that's not that. That's a crown. So someone is coming off of their high horse. Someone's refusal to make a decision caused the tower moment. Okay. Yeah. Disagreements. 
Power struggles. Power struggles because somebody refused to make a decision. They'd rather be sneaky. For some of you, that may be what's going around on around you if it's not you. Okay. Oh, we have the sun, which is good. Good news, a new beginning, opportunities. Could be a significant person around you who is a Leo. Okay, or a fire sign. Or you may have Leo in your chart, but this is talking about having your wish is fulfilled. This is the sun. This is a new beginning. This is a brighter future, a brighter day. All right? Feeling young. But this was in the reverse. So this is just saying there's a delay to this because of someone being sneaky. Because that's clarifying the Seven of Swords. So your happiness is being delayed because somebody is in the midst of a lot of turmoil, lots of arguments. Two more, please. Let's clarify the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Four of Swords, please, Spirit. Prince of Wands. So this is a fire sign, a young person. Could be a male, female, doesn't matter. So there is You could be dealing with a fire sign or there could be a fire sign around you who is delaying things on purposely purposely taking their time on making a decision okay someone is purposely creating fights and being just basically not saying much. Being a little passive aggressive, huh? What was that? Uh-huh. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords falls on top of the Four of Cups. Somebody is oof. Somebody may be regretting not taking an action or they're not taking an action because they're afraid of the consequences if they open their mouth and they tell the truth they may be under attack but this needs to be whatever it is needs to be released because you have the sun here okay so once Listen, once you take the, 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 the first time, as much as it hurts, as embarrassing as it is, the first time you tell it, it's hard. The second time you tell your story, it gets a little easier. To the point where it becomes empowering that you were able to overcome the embarrassment or overcome the um, shame or, you know, just the loss uh, financial loss or whatever to be able to say I've messed up or to be able to say I got taken advantage of or to be able to say I was afraid and so I ran whatever just being the just being honest is the freedom right to be honest about following your intuition and how it has brought you out, brought you so far. Because it has. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not the only person who has a story to tell. We all do. Right? We've all lived lives up to now. Whatever age you are. All right? And the longer you live, the more lessons you get. Right? Ashe? Amen. So, someone is taking their time, creating arguments, all right, causing someone else to be very regretful of their 
non-actions and their failure to be honest but they're being advised that they can just go ahead and be honest and take the hit take the hit stand up for yourself Pisces all right let's see if we can get any more messages and this is coming from the crystal visions deck only because I just felt like it I love these cards I love them together I guess I should have did this, the clarification with these. But we'll clarify some more. Any other messages? Ooh. Three of Wands. So somebody is headed out to greener pastures. That's the tower. Oh. So someone wants to leave the situation. They feel that they made a bad decision at some point. And they are looking at possibilities. Where else to go? What path to take? They're waiting for something to open up. They're waiting for something to come to become available. And now we get Ooh. Yeah, to end the chapter, we got the world. They want to bring things to a conclusion. They want to finish some chapter of their lives and that's causing they've gotten clarity that they need to make a change they need to close out a chapter of their life and to go forward on a new path this is you or someone around you Pisces and it's causing a lot of problems uh, disagreements uh, with friends family <sighs> and it's, it's, so it's causing them not to be as forthcoming as they should be with you or with the people that they're dealing with and it's delaying the new beginning and we have a queen of wands here so again another fire sign uh, Aries Leo and Sagittarius okay it could be a Leo but again another fire sign and she's in the reverse so she's not happy could be a he and he's coming out next to that Prince of Wands so you could have two people who are not happy who are playing mind games playing power struggles against one another or against you this could just be going on around you you might know of this happening to someone near to you but I think that this is something that is affecting you and maybe this is saying that you need to walk away from this situation and you need to close the book and you need to find another path we have Queen of Pentacles Queen of Pentacles falls on top of the Prince of Wands but this is like a mother type a house a wife not a housewife but someone who can run a household and take care of business she is in control of her environment she's in control of the communications that come around she keeps her image up regardless of what but she was in the reverse so she could be this person could be an earth sign or a fire sign earth is Taurus Capricorn or Virgo she could be unhappy she could be putting pressure on this Prince of Wands to make a decision. She could be pressuring him to take a vacation also. For some of you. She could be. She could be influencing him to take a break. So maybe he's a workaholic. I don't know. Or maybe she's telling him to get out of this situation. So it could be a mother figure, a sister, friend, partner, business partner, knight of swords. Someone is coming in with an honest message that falls on top of this ten of swords and this four of cups. So it's Four of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the 
night of sorts. Mm -hmm. So maybe someone has gotten tired and this burden is too much to carry. They've decided to let it go or someone else could be coming in with some messages of truth or clarity. Mm -hmm. And the bottom of this deck is the Five of Swords. So again, controversy, all right? Causing people not to talk to one another, turn their backs on one another, hurt one another, walking away but still looking back. Walking away but still looking back. And someone, one of you is being Spirit guides have been talking to you the whole time while you've been being backstabbed, comforting you, whispering in your ear, telling you to keep it going. And others of you, you're walking away, you're looking back, and your spirit guides have been trying to to land on you or get close to you but you're not paying attention you're paying attention to the past you're aware of what you may or may not have done but your ancestors are coming in for some of you that's that's what that message is someone is getting they're getting away with something or they think they're getting away with something but it's not they're not getting away with anything because what you don't address their ancestors will address that's the message for you Pisces do not worry about any of this backbiting <coughs> what you address what you can but when you think that something is going to take you out of your element put them in the hands of God Ashe, during this 30-day time period, whenever you see this message, let's get a goddess guidance card for Pisces. Okay, what we get? Sekhmet, be strong. Be strong. Carried over here too. In the center. Sekhmet, S-E-K-H-M-E-T, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. Be yourself. Be your strong self. Okay? Know that you already have the tools that you need in order to um, handle the situation. That's what they're telling you. Move forward. You have a vision. You have a vision and it's going to be all that you hoped it would be. Wow. <sighs> mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, Pisces, allow yourself to dream a little. Don't get caught up in it. But give yourself some time before you go to sleep, maybe, to dream. Dream. During the day, while you're having your tea or your coffee, and just sitting there, instead of reading the side of the cereal box or the newspaper or messing with your iPad or your cell phone or whatever just turn it off and drink your tea and enjoy the sounds around you and listen for spirit with gratitude anything else for Pisces any other messages for Pisces let's get a message for Pisces hmm? anything else yes okay Sensitivity, white tara. There's more of that green. So be careful of who you're around, right? You're extremely sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. What I say. Okay, be careful of who you're associating with. Protect yourself. All right? Know that you are protected. Know that you are guided. Know that you are loved. 
and love yourself first. Protect your energy from negativity and negative people. Don't be sensitive to whatever this is, whatever this mm, betrayal, gossip, backstabbing, thievery, two-facedness, misogynist, misogyny. <clears throat> okay, for somebody it's about misogyny in the workplace, misogyny in the relationship. Oh, wow. Lots to say for that. Okay, just one more, please. <laughs> one more spirit from Pisces. Oh, wow. Pisces is going to make moves. Pisces is going to keep her eyes on the prize. Okay, and Damara, guiding children. Damara. So this is about setting an example for children. For your children, for the children of others around you. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So maybe in this situation, there's going to be some type of healing or lessons that you will be bringing. That's why they want you to stay on this path. There's, you may come in, you may, you may get pregnant. Okay, you may bring a child in to the world that needs your assistance. Ooh, the bottom of the deck now says, Medicine Woman, it shall. Healing, you bring healing. You are a channel for divine healing power. So, I, if there are children involved in, here, in this situation, I just heard this child's soul is crying out for you. If there's a child that you know, someone that is close to you, someone that lives around you, someone that you have a good relationship with, it could be a child, grandchild, could be a neighbor child, it could be a, a, a child if you're a school teacher, maybe it's one of your students, but there's someone that appreciates your guidance so much. And this is your calling. Okay. Oh, this could be family stuff. This could be being, oh, this could be adopting children or becoming a step parent. <laughs> okay. For some of you, that could be a concern. Maybe you've never had children before and you don't feel like you can deal with children, or maybe you are pregnant or you're getting ready to adopt a child or something. Maybe you feel that you cannot do it but you're being advised that you can all right you have all the tools that you need okay Pisces let's get your romance angel oracle deck oracle card rather by Doreen Virtue did I show you guys look these are tiny little compared to the regular size ones it's so cute travels well so anyway Pisces like a personal reading send an email to pbtarot7 at gmail.com don't forget to like subscribe and share these messages okay Pisces these messages are timeless all right let's see oh worth waiting for Pisces worth waiting for be patient divine timing is at work in your love life and you are a healer. You have, you know, <laughs> you get messages from the divine. You're following your intuition. You know. And underneath that, what did we have here? Kuan Yin, compassion. Yeah, be compassionate towards this, these people in this situation. You bring the healing. You are the adult. You are protected, and you. Are bringing some healing to their lives even if they aren't children maybe they're just people who are younger than you that you would consider a child you know depending on how old you are I guess doesn't have to be small children it could just be your own adult children or the adult children of someone 
close to you, a niece, a nephew. <sighs> Maybe your partner has children who are, you know, big kids, adults, big teenagers. Maybe they're coming to you for advice and guidance. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So maybe you or this young person or this person who is concerned or has questions for you, you're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, perhaps. Or maybe this is just those of you who is not resonating with that. With that, you have been waiting to have a conversation with with your loved one, and it's been taking quite a while, but. When you do get this opportunity, and it will be coming within the time period of you watching this reading, you will have the opportunity to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Now, is it going to be face-to-face? -face? I don't know. I hope so, if, it, if that's been a thing. Sometimes it's because of distance. Maybe they were away somewhere. They could have been, you know, in jail. Could have been in the military. <coughs> could have been doing any, any, anything. Some top secret secret squirrel stuff that you're not privy to for somebody that's a situation for you Pisces okay so what do we get mm. romantic feeling and children oh yeah so these are conversations that you're going to have to have about the way you feel about yourself and your relationship and what do you think about bringing children into your life or the effect that children are having on your relationship? Okay. And the bottom of the deck, playfulness. So don't be too serious at the time that you have this conversation, whenever that is. Okay, Pisces? All right. Try to remain playful and flirtatious. Don't take stuff personally. Stay in your higher energy the higher the higher your vibration is the better it is for everyone involved because you're so powerful and as long as you remain positive the situation will he will heal itself the universe will step in based on the way you react to this entire situation I'm here hmm so I want to because it's your birthday give you read those um, definitions here about the spiral dance of the goddess and across the water so let's do that one first spiral dance of the goddess and let me see I had my props already <laughs> Okay, let's see if it'll work. Alrighty. Uh -huh. No. Might as well just do it like that. Just do it like that. Okay. Let's take the shine off of it, maybe. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha, that was cute. Clever. Spiral dance of the goddesses. Of the goddesses of the goddess or the gods or the goddesses number 29 from a point of light unfolding we became a soul then incarnate into a sacred body and our lives become a work of divine art a speck of heavenly presence manifesting itself through dimensions of time and space and into a life on earth made manifest the extraordinary fact of your existence is a divine happening as though the light of the moon is dancing not only upon the water but inside of it your ancient light is dipping into the mud of the earth this is how the soul becomes a divine human in the making. As you sense yourself moving and shifting from light to dark and back again, from knowing to unknowing, you are weaving your unconscious 
you are weaving your consciousness as you sense yourself moving and shifting from light to dark and back again from knowing to unknowing you are weaving your consciousness your divinity into sacred expression manifesting your soul essence into the form of your life threading the light through the darkness without even realizing that you're doing it you are gently impregnating the matter of your body of your life with light your body and your life become luminous radiant and you assist others even just through your presence it sounds wonderful and it is yet it is not always an easy path as the light travels through darkness pain and suffering can arise in waves best to be present to it trust that it is not a permanent condition and wait for the spiral to twist from dark to light again always moving closer and closer to the purity of the center and expanding outward eternally as though you are being inhaled by the divine filling cosmic lungs as they reach out far and wide taking in all of life the message of this oracle to you is that you are growing you are bringing more of your life into form you are bringing more of your light into form you may be meeting obstacles in yourself and in the world but this is because you are bringing through the light if there were nothing happening there would be no obstacles i say bless them as signs that you are proceeding and empower them no more you shall be all else is just divine timing you remain yourself and allow divine timing to take over in whatever the situation is for you Pisces whatever you're going to be facing within 30 days of watching this message and I'm being told that maybe sometime in the future when you need a little encouragement maybe this is a message that you can share again or share with your soul again by rewatching it again share it with other people who are Pisces um, they may be feeling quite similar to the way you're feeling right now and they'll appreciate it the inner movement in expressive flow as outward breath of dance and light becoming one becoming free Pisces this the, the 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 running theme today that for this reading for you is about freedom freedom to be yourself freedom not to care what anybody else thinks about you your relationship with you is yours and their relationship with what they think about you is none of your business okay you have bigger fish to fry you have knowledge to share you have a legacy to build you have love to share all right you have secrets to tell ancient secrets healing you have to pass on these healing the healing knowledge that you hold all right you have to teach you have to share and you have to love Pisces love yourself first pray for the naysayers don't let them get to you so I hope you enjoyed this reading Pisces I really enjoyed bringing it to you it was different um, <coughs> so and since it's your birthday I'm gonna be nice 
because I've been quite tardy on the readings. So let's get you. Uh, for those of you who don't want to see this, then thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to check your other placements and see if any of the other messages resonate with you. If this one didn't, or maybe for more details. So let's get something from this Tarot of Sexual Magic on this Friday night. What can Pisces look for going forward in the next 30 days? For those who this pertains to, what is it that the person that they are interested in, the love that they are seeking, what do they feel about Pisces? All right, what? Okay, oh, so we have the four of chalices and the ten of chalices. Oh, Ooh. the king of swords is at the bottom of the deck. So, someone who's very controlling. Ah. Oh. Then he come out for you before Pisces. Somebody that's very controlling. Hmm. But he's very comfortable and he makes you comfortable. But you have to do his bidding. And other people are paying attention to this. They see the way that you're being treated. And four of, four of cups and the ten of cups. Someone may be trying to help you get out of the situation. Even though you have all that you want in the situation, it could be someone that you are working with who is offering you more than you already have and you may be interested in looking into that. Someone who you confide in Someone who gives good advice. Someone that may be giving you advice or an ultimatum also. Or this could be someone giving you advice and telling you that you need to leave the situation even though it's comfortable, even though it's fruitful maybe you need to come and look elsewhere and get away from this controlling person here that could be it so this is uh air sign could be libra could be um gemini could be aquarius so you or that person can have those placements in your chart all right now got to get a little nosy all right let's get two more cards from the Tarot Sexual Magic, Pisces, for those who are interested in this part of the reading. <laughs> oh, okay. So they want to give me three. So, okay, that makes sense because this is the bottom of the deck. So this, the bottom of the deck, so this is what's concerning you or the energy that you are dealing with. And you may be thinking about getting away. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oof. Okay, so you could be trying to go towards someone who is stable. Someone who is very proud of herself. Someone who is independent. Someone who allows you to live out your fantasies. Someone who is with you because they want to be. They have their own. And we have... Did I show you this card? I don't know if I ever got this before. This is so pretty. And see he's down there at her feet. He's got a foot fetish. That might mean something to somebody. So this could be talking about a, a lot of sexual, sexual ple um, like self-pleasuring, kinkiness. So maybe someone around you is really, really strict 
authoritative and you're trying to get out because you want to go and have a fantasy life with an uh, earth sign somewhere or someone doesn't matter what their sign is oh yeah you want to bring something to an end to close a chapter to this is judgment so maybe you feel that you're only in the situation that you are now because you're bind you're bound by children or family or property and maybe you're praying for something to change maybe your partner is also the five of pentacles so someone may be seeing someone outside of the relationship someone they work with someone who gives them inspiration someone who hmm, is an earth sign so this person here okay so this could be the earth sign that this is pertaining to someone who is independent self-sufficient someone who is very accommodating to your person or to you this could be a male energy when I say she it could be he they're just going with the illustrations so it seems that someone is seeing someone or is being yeah they want to get away from someone who is overbearing. And they have been, people have been telling them, advising them, because they've seen what's going on in this relationship. And you're making plans. You or they are making plans to become independent, to be with someone who, who you love and who, someone who respects your position, your independence allows you to be in charge allows you to control things and then you will be able to move on all right maybe start a new family or yeah start a new family or start a new way of doing things for some of you in a relationship that maybe you want to get out of so that you can have a new start. Someone you work with or someone you used to work with. But someone who you have a lot of passion for. Someone that you're willing to put down your work for. Make changes. You've been inspired. You or someone, Pisces, is being inspired, in, inspired to make a change. So you know who you are. If this resonates with you, you know how this fits. You could be the person that wants to leave. You could be the person who is being left. You could be the person that someone is coming towards. Or who wants the person that they want to come towards. And maybe <coughs> you would be feeling left out. But maybe they're coming to make you feel wanted. Mm. And that's why they're telling you playfulness. And that's why the channel message was about enjoy this time. Just enjoy yourself, Pisces. You deserve a break. You really do. You've been through a lot. Dance. Celebrate this time. Allow yourself to be caught up in the rapture of love okay yeah enjoy it set the boundaries okay say what it is that you want say what you want mean what you say and also reserve the right to change your mind but just say that and if things change and you see things looking a certain way better or whatever then you make adjustments as needed you're setting boundaries for your good and hopefully it works out well for other people but if it doesn't that's not your problem across the waters movement so make the moves that you're guided to make follow your intuition follow that guiding light <laughs> all right 
pay attention to the sun, pay attention to the moon, pay attention to the planetary um, placements in your chart, your moon, especially. So Pisces, thank you so much for allowing me to bring you this message, all right? And I'll be talking to you real soon, all right? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and share these messages. If you're watching it and you're casting it to the TV, I know you forget to do that. Do me a favor, go back later and watch it and hit it, okay? Like. Thank you. And leave comments below. I appreciate so much the comments that I get and the emails, the beautiful emails that you all sent me and send me and the gifts. All the information to contact me. Also, I got, um, what is this now, this app, uh, Cash App. So if you'd like to make a donation or if you want to get a personal reading, you can uh, send the money through the Cash App. Now you don't have to use PayPal, okay? So... Thank you so very much. I'll be talking to you soon. Be well. Be blessed. Happy birthday again. Pisces. Bye.